Hello everyone, this is a short video about uh, PlowCalc 1.1 release. Uh, there are a few new features and improvements. Uh, I'm, going, uh, I'm going to go through them one by one. Uh, so first, uh, there are uh, range selector improvements. Uh, some of our users uh, noticed that some of the hands are not very easy to describe, uh, so uh, we have changed that. Uh, what I mean specifically are uh, hands with, with connectors. So the way we uh, represent connectors now are with a G symbol. So uh, the simplest one is a four Gs in a row. That would be all the, uh, I mean, four cars which are next to each other. You can do one gappers like here, right? The gap here, or all the one gappers like this. So the gap in any place. Uh, you can combine that with, uh, uh, for example, double suited like here. So we have uh, all the one gappers here, or two gappers here. Uh, what is new about it is that you can also uh, use card ranks with that. So, for example, if you want uh, a, a card from ace to ten, and then two connected cards, you get that. Right? Maybe three of them. Even. So like this. You can also do things like this. So that would be one card from ace to ten, then two connected cards, and then a pair. So like king, queen, jack, jack, uh, jack, queen, ten, ten, etc. Uh, and the specific case we got on our two plus two thread, uh, a user wondered how to describe ace, king, and then two small connectors. So we will do that. First ace, king, and um, a card from nine to two with a connector. Maybe we also add a card from 9 to 2 with one gapper here. So here we have ace king and then two cards which are either connected or have a one gap. So uh, hopefully with this uh, we can describe every hand which is uh, interesting in PLO with this and all the other expressions of course which are describing the help. There's a long help here. You can read all about uh, various syntax. So uh, that's one improvement. Another one is that you can now use uh, other ranges to compose, you can use uh, ranges to compose other ranges. So uh, in other tools, those this is usually called macros, but here you can just use other ranges. So for example, here we have uh, a double split connectors and we have broadways like this. So four cars stand higher, but no, not quads. So if we want to combine them, we just use the dollar sign. So we do suited connectors like this. I made a typo here, like this. Then you can uh, add broadways as well. Broadways. So uh, now we are up to not many hands, 2.9%. Uh, and then you can uh, add suited aces to that, for example, right? So uh, once you have any uh, a range prepared, you can just combine it with other ranges. That is very convenient. You don't have to type things many times. So, for example, once you type all the uh, two gappers, you can just use that, right? And uh, I made an example. Uh, so, for example, there are various good hands. You can uh, include that, right? The various good hands. Uh, and then you can add, for example, uh, I don't know, queen suited here. And then you, can, you have a new way, uh, range which compose from the old range and some new things. Okay, so uh, this is, uh, uh, I hope, very useful. And uh, now I believe our uh, syntax uh, is uh, powerful enough to describe every uh, possible uh, interesting range in PLO. So uh, other uh, feature in this release are equity graphs. Before, maybe I would calculate equity on all, in all the tabs. Uh, on this computer with Skype running, it takes about, uh, I think, seven or eight seconds. So, yeah, it's not very fast, but BLO is a big game. Or maybe we will change the range for the button to be something more interesting. So we don't have symmetric ranges. And we will do sample button still, for example. And then calculate again. So uh, before uh, we had this equity graphs here, and uh, they were only a demonstration of 
uh, of the ranges, right? Like for example, on the flop, we can see them like this. But now they are a bit more interactive. Uh, one thing you, which you can do is uh, mark part of the range on the graph. So for example, if you want to do a set, we see the sets are here. So they are nearly top of the range equity wise. And you can do a low pair, for example. And low pairs are all around the spectrum because some of them uh, have, uh, you know, uh, flash draws as well or straight draws. So we can do low pair and else less than four, for example. And you can see they are near the bottom of the range. Right? Uh, so, uh, yeah, we can also do like ace of spades. You can see they are also all around, all around the... Um, uh, the range. So maybe you can try some more, maybe this time on the turn. Uh, we can show, for example, fla a flash. Also, turn the flash is possible, it's near the top of the range, I see. And then low pair is at the bottom. And for example, hand like a set as here. So I think this is fun, and you can uh, use that um, to, uh, you know, visualize where the range is, uh, where the parts of where, where the parts of the range are equity-wise. Uh, another thing you can do with a graph, maybe we can do on this one, you can mark part of the range, like for example, you can drag it here, so it will show you what part it is, and you can browse all the combinations. Uh, See what it, what there is. Uh, yeah, maybe again we will try uh, like the bottom part, like here, and it marks that it's from third person to 18, 18, and all the hands are here. Okay. We can only show IP, for example. Yeah. So uh, this is an improvement, and uh, another one is now uh, we have this. Maybe I will select all the hands again. Uh, we have this uh, range explorer view which classifies the range according to hand category, like a flash, straight, set. Uh, you may now choose the details, uh, how uh, finely the split is, so fi finely grained the split is. So here we just see straight categories, like flash, straight, set. You can add split by flash draw. Maybe on the turn it doesn't make much sense because there is flash already, so we go to the flop. Uh, if you split by flash draw, you will see. Yeah, just show IP. Uh, you will see that the set uh, there are you know three types of set: a set with a flash draw, a set with a backdoor, a set with without a backdoor. Take a different equity. You can split by a straight draws as well. So set with four to six hours, set from one to three hours, or you can split by both. So now it's very many categories. So that makes uh, analyzing the range. Uh, um, I mean, you can ma make it more detailed or just overall uh, like view from the top. Okay, so uh, the last improvement I want to talk about is a very short thing. Uh, there is a scroll here, and for some users it wasn't very smooth. Uh, and now, as you can see, it's very, very smooth, like silky smooth. You can, even though there are like uh, several hundred uh, thousand hands, I mean, like 200,000 on the flop. Can just go through it uh, very, very easily, very smoothly. Okay, so that's it. Uh, we are appreciating every uh, kind of feedback from our users. We try to improve the interface. Uh, I mean, this is still an early release, but uh, we are trying to get things right before we uh, proceed to more advanced tools. But this already is something which uh, wasn't available anywhere before. Uh, so you can uh, actually look at the whole ranges in PLO and visualize things about them. So uh, I hope you like the tool and uh, we will see you uh, when the next release arrives. Bye.